Baba Yaga's Spell. I once saw the witch with teeth of steel, who of small children would make a meal. Her eyes were cold and her skin was gray. Upon a mortar and pestle she would fly away. Her laugh would make grown men faint with fear, and within the shadows she would appear a witch. That evil grew legendary in fame. Baba Yaga was the witch's name. I went to see her long ago to tell her of a maiden that I loved so, but her love was not for me, and Baba Yaga I went to see. My friends tried to warn me from such a foul place and told me that the devil was better than to see Baba's face, for in the darkest swamps does Baba Yaga live, and nothing but evil are the gifts that she gives. I ignored the advice and ignored their tales. I stepped in the darkness and followed the trails to the swamp that no one returned to tell Baba Yaga of the love of which I burned. I followed the trail for many a day deeper in the swamps where no man would stray. After weeks in the swamps, I f saw a fence of bones. I knew then I had found Baba Yaga's home. Despite my fear, I called her by name, and I heard her answer and felt ice in my veins. Then she appeared from the door of her home, picking her steel teeth with a chewed finger bone. Her mouth then parted in a hideous grin as she told me my tale from beginning to end. With an evil chuckle and a sinister grin, she sent her zombies for some items to begin. She cast a spell to capture my lady's heart and bound it to mine so we could never part. Upon a lock of my love's hair and mine, she cast her spells and told me together we would be upon the morning's bells. Baba Yaga's claws touched me and I fell into a swoon and awoke the next morning in my true love's bedroom. She suddenly awoke and shrieked in delight and clasped in her arms. I was held tight. I tried to speak, yet no words could come, and I looked in horror at what I had become. I now mourn my fate as I lay by this warm log. She loves me now more than I was a man. Now that I am her dog.